Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, guys. Like, this is my first video in the new year, and I just came to do a tutorial from my new naked palette that I got for Christmas, and this is the naked one, I believe. And, um, just um, basic colors anyway that are in here. There's some shimmery shades and some matte shades. So yeah, I will be doing a lot of tutorials from this palette this new year. So watch out for those. But for the tutorial on my fit for the look on my face right now, if you want to see a tutorial on that, make sure to stay tuned. And as always, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, so first I'm going into this taupey brown color called Buck, and I'm just going to be blending that into my crease and this is going to serve as my transition color. take this slightly shimmery shade called Virgin and I'm just going to be using that as a brow bone highlight. I'm going to go back in with my blending brush and blend where the brow bone highlight and my transition color meet so I don't have any harsh lines. For my lid color, I'm going to be spraying my brush with some of my setting spray just to increase the intensity of the eyeshadow to make it look more foily and I'm going into this eyeshadow called Sidecar which is my favorite eyeshadow in the palette and I'm just going to pack that onto my lid until it's as pigmented as I want it to look. Again, I'm going back in with my blending brush and I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. For the inner part of my tear duct, I'm going into this beautiful blue shade from my BH Cosmetics Hollywood palette and I'm just going to pop that into my tear duct area and this is going to help my eyes look brighter and more awake. For liner, I'm going to be using my Ruby Kisses HD Gel Liner in Rich Black and a liner brush from Sonia Kashuk and I'm just going to draw a simple winged liner and you all already know how I do my winged liners. I extend the wing and then I draw it and extend it into the inner corner of my eye. using my mascara to prep my lashes for falsies and um, I was kind of out of frame while I was applying the lashes but I'm gonna be using the J lash in number 43 but not to worry I'm gonna have a how to apply false eyelashes video up on my channel very soon so make sure to look out for that After applying my lashes, I'm just going back in to blend them with some more mascara. And I was also kind of out of frame here. Sorry guys, I really could not tell. But I'm just using a black hole pencil to line my waterline. And then I'm going to be using my mascara to add some volume to my lower lashes. So 
so I already did my entire face routine if you want to see how I do my foundation and highlight and contour I covered that in my last two videos so go check them out but now I'm just setting all of my face with my Maybelline Fit Me powder and I'm also putting it over my highlighted area so they don't seem too bright for blush I'm going into this blush called Maldives from Lisi Cosmetics and it's just a beautiful bright orange blush and I've been looking for an orange blush for a long time I'm just putting that on the apples of my cheeks and I'm gonna blend that out with my powder brush Highlights. I'm taking the highlighting shade in my sleek contour kit and a fan brush and I'm just going to put that onto the highest point of my cheekbones. And I always go back and also my cupid's bow and I always go back to blend with my powder brush so nothing seems too heavy or overwhelming. For lips I'm going to be lining my lips with my dark brown pencil from Wet n Wild. I'm going to rub that together just to blend it in more. Then I'm going to go into this lipstick called Mochalicious from Wet n Wild and I'm just going to apply that all over my lips. I want a really nice ombre new type lips so I'm going into my BH Cosmetics lipstick in the color Naked Peach. I'm just going to pop that in the middle of my lips. The ombre wasn't as pronounced as I wanted it so I just went into my eyeshadow primer which is basically a white base and I popped that in the middle. Now I'm just dabbing on some of my setting powder and this is a quick DIY for matte lips. You can use this to make any lipstick matte. So after this I'm just going to be setting my face with my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray to keep my face matte all day honey, yes. And that's basically the end of this tutorial, hope you all enjoyed watching this, I enjoyed filming it for you guys, see you in my next video, bye.